We were inspired to write this book because we were originally invited by the BBC Radio 3 to get involved in a very interesting series of programmes called The Essay, which were also supported by the Open University, where we were asked to run a series of radio talks about authors of the ancient world and how their voices have spoken to us in the 20th century. And a whole series of um, scientists, broadcasters, journalists, poets, all contributed stories about the way in which they had really engaged with classical authors and felt that the, these were voices that had a modern tonality to them. Yeah, one thing that was very much in our mind, I think, very much from the beginning, was the idea of a conversation, that these are voices that still very much uh, speak to a modern ear. We find things that are still interesting, one way or another, uh, but also they very much speak with us as well, that we, uh, uh, we keep going back, we keep finding new things. Um, I think that maps certainly onto, onto our own experience. Um, some of the experiences we were talking about uh, were those of people who were not like us at all. We're, doing, we're really very like Nazi generals. Uh, uh, we're, we're not people who fought in the First World War, we're not our opera stars, but all of these have found new things every time they go back to these texts. So the idea really of being really in dialogue with these authors and these texts is something very important to us. When we were writing, just in my case, certainly I had different readers in, in, in mind at different times, and you know, different readers on the same page. Uh, some of the time I was perhaps thinking, well, what book would I have loved my Auntie Mabel to give me? I, mean, I really did have an Auntie Mabel. Um, <laughs> uh, to give me on my 15th or 16th birthday when I was first getting interested in this stuff. Something that um, would have would have built on those interests and given me new ones. Uh, some of the time I've been thinking about uh, any, anybody who is who is interested in the, in, in the classics um, I mean, maybe may have some classical background, may have none, may be interested in the issues, may be interested in in strategy uh, first and be, be brought from that into Thucydides. Um, uh, maybe people uh, interested in the great books of, of, of any culture at any time. Uh, just anybody who, who is interested, uh, anybody who already likes or perhaps even loves part of this, uh, in the hope that they'll find some things that correspond to the interests they've got already, and then in the next chapter said, oh yeah, that's, that's interesting too, hadn't thought of that. Um, and also people who uh, just find these things fun, uh, not simply intellectually demanding, though there's a lot of things there that we hope are a bit intellectually thought-provoking, uh, but also people who just uh, find Lucian's Gods, for instance, uh, really very amusing, just as I did an awfully, lot of, an awfully long time ago. And I think also it's very clear that the ancient world is still speaking to us. You know, right now, in the 21st century, we can see performances of Greek tra tragedy on the stage. We can see uh, reconstructions of the ancient world in Hollywood cinema. Um, we can see exhibitions being put on in museums and, and, and in art galleries. Um, but also the ways people sometimes refer back to antiquity in, in political debate. And what we wanted to do in the book and the kind of person we want to address is someone who is wondering why does that happen? Why do people still turn to the ancient world? What is it about the actual works themselves, the actual voices that we are hearing that um, make us want to respond in that sort of way and to give a, a, a sort of taste, a, a little snippet of what what those voices are doing and how complicated and challenging they are. And in some cases that may be um, you're responding in one way, I wonder if that's the only way. Why not think of responding in this way as instead or as well? And there's lots of things that you can find in these texts, there's always something new.